Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code, link is in the description. So without any further ado, let's start this video. So in the previous video series, we have completed our website homepage. Now it's time to create the footer of our web page. So to create footer, we have to go to our HTML file. So in our HTML file, wrap this section five and create a div class name section 6 okay in this section 6 section 6 create a div solve create a div and in this div add an image that is our logo image okay and write a paragraph p lorem 10 oh sorry control z 10 okay let's save it let me show you what is this so we have created a div and in that div we have added this image and this paragraph okay so now create another div and in this div create ul this is an element for unordered list like li and in this li write main menu this is the list item li element means this is a list item and this is li and in this li element add an anchor tag with dead link and write here about okay let me show you what is this see this main menu and about in anchor tag why this about is in anchor tag because main menu is heading and about is a link okay so that is why so now copy this ally element in which in we have anchor tag copy and paste it now change the text inside this menu and uh, events offers okay now close this div copy this div and paste it okay and change this text content so i in the text content inside this div again paste it and at this time change the heading to the address and also remove this create a p element and write here your address new delhi india and another p tag timings okay now save it let's check how it is looking so here we have image elements and anchor tags and everything like look at this logo and paragraph tag this is first div this is second div and this is third div okay so now let's style it 
go to style.css write sec 6 padding top to bottom 0% and 10% left to right ok display flex justify content space between save it so we have to small our image we have to make change the size of our image so right here sec 6 sec 6 image and the width of this image 200 pixel see So this is looking little pretty good now targeting sec 6 div elements means all the divs i'm targeting maximum width of the div is 200 pixel save it so now the width of these div are decided have decided dot sec 6 ulli first child what it means i am targeting section 6 ul element and ally jo first element hai iska sec 6 ke andar jo ul element hai isme jo ally hai ye itne sare ally hai isme first jo element jo first child hai usko target kar raha hu main i am targeting the first child of ally elements so font weight of this 700 so means the first child of this ally element which is this one this one and this one they will be bold let me refresh this and you can see they become bold okay now target sec 6 ally and sec 6 p tags padding give it padding 10 pixel top to bottom and left to right 0 now you can see how it is looking now we just have to change color and size of these elements dot sec 6 p and dot sec 6 a color should be gray font size should be 14 pixel and line height as i told you earlier what is line height and you can see here we have completed our section 6 you can see so we are done with our section 6 so let's go to our code html file and in this in section 6 do not wrap this in section 6 we are going to add another div hit class sorry wrap this section 6 and after that create a footer class div a div with class footer and a p tag right here copyright copyright and write this same as it is that what i am writing 2024 developer do all rights reserved okay save it now it's time to style it 
go to our CSS file and here target the footer text align center padding 1.5 percent 0 margin top 7 percent font size should be 14 pixel and background color RGBA 239 and 0 0.3 change it to 3 ok save it let's see so here we have built our footer same as it is so when we are hovering over this these elements color is changing but in our footer the color is not changing so what we have to do we have to target all these elements means anchor tags so dot six, section 6 anchor tags hover and change or change the color RGB 239 and 122 30 save it refresh it and here you can see cursor pointer and the color is changing so we have completed our home page of this website project restaurant website so we have completed our restaurant website's home page you can see now in the next video we will cover up other pages like in this we have next pages menu page so in other video so in the next video we will build this menu page Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next video.